She's actually the most determined person I've ever met. Gia Sudermeister is talking about her daughter Annalise who was born with neurological issues, but after dozens of tests, still no diagnosis. It's a challenging emotional time because not only do you not have an answer, but you also know there are no treatments available. Doctors estimate there are 30 million Americans living with a rare or undiagnosed disease. Even with the best of care at the best medical centers, these patients never receive a diagnosis. It can be especially devastating for parents of children like Annalise with no answers in sight. You want to look at me for a second? That's why Congress funded the Undiagnosed Diseases Network. First, researchers comb through the patient's medical records. That process in itself can take up to two to three months. Then a team of clinical specialists decode the patient's genome looking for clues. We want to get a, a very comprehensive picture of what is going on. The answer may come quickly or it may take years, but the goal is to give the patient the best possible hope. We will continue to do research on these patients and you will get clues. In Annalise's case, they are getting closer, honing in on the gene that caused her disease. I think every parent of a child with rare disease hopes for a treatment and a cure. The Undiagnosed Diseases Network has expanded to seven clinical sites across the country and is free to patients whose cases are accepted. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.